Welcome back, everyone. I'm Crane Bramp, your old Brainiacs, and this is Destera, a new craft build survival game that's set in a sci fi universe where we're traveling back to a destroyed Earth to mine a rare and powerful element called Terracite. Now, this game's in closed beta and we'll have some limited time to play it, but as always, the link to the Steam store is in the description. And before we get started, I appreciate you coming to hang out and watching the video. If you wouldn't mind a like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Always helps out the algorithm and the channel. Let's go on and get started. Now, I did say that this was a closed beta and we are going to have limited time. And I was looking through the single payer settings and you have harvest amount, resource regen, so on and so forth. I think I'm going to turn up the harvest amount to... I don't know, the max is 10, and I kind of feel like that's maybe like overplaying it, but maybe, maybe five, maybe five. We'll try it out on that. I'm thinking that since we're going to have limited time, it might actually be better to have more resources to see how far we can progress. So why don't we try that out and we'll see where we're at. Terracite. The fourth fire of civilization. The discovery of this revolutionary energy source excited the entire world. Through repeated fierce competitions and raving wars, Terracite revolutionized science and technology. Humanity was becoming great beings, just like the gods their ancestors had served. Now, they were able to control the weather and gravitation in space. Earth was violated by her insatiable inhabitants. A few scientists warned them of the doom that their greed would bring about, but it was not listened to. Eventually, her smoldering resentment flared up. Cracked lands gushed out flames, and darkened skies poured out storms. Facing the surge of destruction, people cried out like babies in stark terror. Right on the brink of collapse, fortunately, they recalled the traces of civilization still intact in space. After going through many sacrifices, they made it there. The structures of the Earth's orbit, originally designed for warfare, became a haven for mankind. The involuntary immigrants called their unfamiliar homes Orbis. Through generations of strenuous efforts, they had fully adapted themselves to living in the extraterrestrial margins. The fear of the sudden end seemed to be forgotten in their memories along with Earth. Before long, however, mankind could not help but remind themselves of their home planet. Having failed to find an alternative resource to Terracite, humanity was being driven to energy depletion. There remained only one choice, and that was to bring Terracite from Earth. However, it was so obvious that mining Terracite would repeat the catastrophe of the past. Therefore, Orbis put the names on the list of volunteers for this dangerous journey. The names of outcasts, like you. Expect entry interface in 10 minutes. Brace for impact. We sincerely wish you return to Orbis safely. Of course, with Terracite. Well, that was a rough hey, landing and Do down. Let's injuries? go on and let Vanessa talk to, to us. You dizzy with the differences of gravity and atmospheric pressure, but it will be okay. I'm Vanessa Holden, one of the pioneers. We keep searching and helping the outcasts like you. Don't get discouraged, Outcast. You'd find the way to survive and go back to Orbis. All right, so here we are. I was trying to give you a chance to look around while Vanessa was talking to us, given our basic instructions that we need. Um, it's just WASD, uh, standard FPS controls. So let's talk about the interface really quick if you start up at the very top you have a compass with the degrees on a 360 or also your coordinates are right there 
Uh, off to the right on the top are your quests and things that you need to do. We'll get that started up on the top left is what time it is uh there is night obviously and we'll have to have light and all that stuff along with the uh with the temp if you hit tab it takes you into your inventory you do have some basic customization options i'll leave what i did in it's just really simple i picked a different head and a you can like change the color of your mining arm and stuff and talking about all of that you have a radiogram which is basically your in-game wiki uh, it's pretty nice if you need to know how to build something you can look it up in here It not only will show you the recipe But it will show you where you can find the components for it, which is really nice It'll even uh, show it to you on the map. You have a machine arm that's used for mining You can upgrade this to do various things. This is a crafting game. There is a ton of stuff to craft in this game There is also buildings uh, you have landmarks. Here is the map. These are some POIs that we can go do. I think the chemo chamber is ready. I read about it. We can go do that. You have a mailbox where you get stuff. And finally, uh, survivors in case you have a team. So to use your mining arm, you just hold F. It shoots out a little, little uh, laser beam. And you'll notice over the right, you get your stuff. Now, you can also... Hit V and it puts you into this mode where you can see where containers are that you can loot. See how that's kind of blue over there? I'm going to go on and turn that off for right now. You can actually see all of your containers on the map where you're at already. Just walk up to them, hit F, and then Shift F to take all. I kind of wish it was R. And to be honest, I haven't looked at the uh, doing the controls and... Um, changing them yet, so I may be able to change that, and I may just be like, kvetching for nothing, so, but anyway, it's your standard uh, stuff that you're gonna do right in the first part of a survival game, you're gonna gather as much stuff as you can, uh, because you're gonna need everything, so we're gonna go around and search all of this stuff, I'm just gonna pick it up as we go around, uh, we'll like, look and see what all we've got afterwards. Remember that you can always pause uh, if uh, if I'm clicking through stuff too fast. So, anyway, let's get this stuff done. And then we've got some quests, uh, or I guess you would just say items to do over on the side. So, it wants us to craft an Aegon, which is a basically a base level pistol. And then some pistol ammo for it. It looks like our other containers are up on the roof. And I'm not quite sure how to get to them yet. I do also think that this uh, this boat... Uh, let's go on and jump over here. The... Ah, there we go. All right, so it's a wrecked boat. We'll open it. We get scrap metal, cogs, copper wire, android chips, and motors out of it. So V to turn that off. All right, so we're going to open this up and go to crafting. I could just hit U to go straight there. We're going to select the Aegon. It requires bolts, metal plates, and copper wire. And we're going to go on and craft one of those. Uh, we're going to look at ammo and do pistol ammo. You can do a search box right here. I just find the, that that's easier. Uh, let's do... You go through this fairly quickly, and it's not that expensive. So I would suggest, like, going on and getting... Like as much as you can done. So uh, we'll go on and reload that. Get us, a, get us a little bit of stuff in there. This is a very base level pistol. This is not what you want to keep. Uh, we can continue doing that. Okay, so she wants us to do uh, the V. It's called hypersensory vision. So I just call it secret vision. But, you know, sound, sounds much cooler. So... All right, so it wants us to gather food or edible plants. We are going to go around. We're going to need, uh, we're going to need stone is a big one for building because it's going to ask us to do some building yet. Let's go right up here. We'll go on and get this. We'll go on and do some searching inside these. And then it wants us to gather some terracite. Now, terracite is a basically an energy filled. Well, if you watch the, the intro, then you know, but it's an energy-filled material that we're going to use as a base uh, crafting material and also to create energy. 
Well, let's go on and get this medical robot, android chip, pipe, and some springs. All of this is good. And this is Terrasite. You will find it out on the ground. You will also find it, you know, when you loot various things, you may find it like uh, sometimes you can find it in vehicles that you loot uh, and other things. Sometimes you'll find stuff just on the, uh, on the shelves, just F to pick it up. Uh, we'll take all of that. Uh, go on and get this building rubble. All right, so grab this, grab all that. And another thing that I really like about this is once you actually loot the item, um, it disappears off of your HUD so that you no longer have a cluttered hub. And you guys know how I hate a cluttered HUD. I mean, it's just... If you're a survival guy, you gotta have a clean HUD. Uh, not really sure how to get up there. I don't see any. So, can we jump up here? Yes, we can. We'll go on and take that. I was like, I don't see any stairs. Surely, surely someone has, uh, has provided a way up there. Uh, looks like this last one may actually, oh, ow, be down here. Yeah, I wasn't really supposed to, like, hurt myself like that, but whatever. Uh, dusty battery pack, dusty lens, dusty baked beans. Some good old beans, man. All right, so use a battery pack. If you look down in the bottom on our hot bar, we have a central place. You've got stamina, uh, you have food, you have water, you have health, and you have energy. Your energy is the energy that is in your mining arm. And as you use it, where is that? And as you use it, your energy will go down. You'll find and craft battery packs. And those can be used, of course, to refill your energy. So we'll just go on and take a look. We'll find our energy cell wherever it happens to be. And then we're gonna use that do, do, do takes a little bit of time and there we go if you'll notice our energy is back to a hundred all right so it wants us to build a shelter i've been looking i did play a little bit to set my graphic settings of course and get my controls down and stuff but i'd like to find a flat spot now there are various places that you can uh drop in around the map um, there are also enemies, there are robots every freaking where, and they are, believe me, they are badass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run down the beach a little bit. Let's take a look at the map and see where we're at. Um, so we're over here. Yeah, it looks like there might be some flat spots down in here. So also this is the chemo chamber. So let's move down to the... What is that? The Southwest. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so that y'all don't have to like be here for the entire thing, but we've got to hurry up and get this done because not only do I need all this loot, but we're going to have to make something to get water, which is going to be a big deal. All right, guys, uh, let me start moving down here. Oh, I, phew. dude, I saw that Terrasite and for a moment, I thought it was a freaking robot coming after my butt. And believe me, I got this one pistol. This is not what we want to have first thing out. So, uh, yeah, I'm heading southwest. I will see you guys here shortly. All right, guys, I've tried not to be too picky. I've found a little spot right here that is not only flat, but it's kind of next to the water. So you hit F2 and hold it to enter build mode and there's just all kinds of stuff. Uh, stone is your primary thing. So I think uh, it wants us to do two foundations, walls and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna do two foundations. We are probably going to do quite a bit more than that. I'm thinking maybe let's do, if we can afford it, let's try Five by three. All right, I'm not too thrilled about the uh, grass and stuff sticking up through my foundations, but you know, it's a 
it's a beta, so I'll be I'll be happy with that. Um, do we have? Yes, we have wind. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. That's wildlife. We do have um window walls. I really like the building system in this also. It's very, very smooth, very clean, very performant, really easy to understand. We're gonna leave a couple of spaces for doors. I really like windows and being able to see out. However, you know, here here's the thing. If something comes up and attacks you or it's outside your, your base, like beating it up, then if you can't see out, then you might have a problem. You might not want to go out there and fight it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You might be like, oh, uh, let me just stand in here and like shoot out the window. All right, so we need a door, a door frame, a window frame. Hmm, I wonder if we need to actually craft. Look at that, we do. Um, so we're gonna make two of those, it only requires or a peak. Oh, wait a minute. No, it didn't it didn't select it for some reason. Well, that's fine. I needed more pistol ammo anyway, so So the first time that you click it, it seems to just show you the recipe, but it doesn't like select it, select it, I guess you could say. So I don't know, weird little situation. So we'll put that and then we will put that right there and then we need oh it wanted me to build a wall well so let's do a retrieve on shoot i don't know i guess this one so f3 is management mode it allows you to pick stuff up and uh Ah, there we go. So right. Hmm, it wouldn't let me pick it up. So I just said, screw it and destroy it. So let's get a regular wall. Uh, since it, oh, come on. All right, so that took a little bit. Oh, man. Um, I would like to get a roof on this. Uh, is it going to be just walls, I assume? Floors? So these middle ones have low stability. I'm going to assume I keep hitting two instead of F2 and eating the mushrooms I, I, that I've got into. I mean, I guess it's good for me, but so a pillar for a building. Oh, this is nice. The pillar can go in the middle. Oh, that's kind of nice. How about we try one there and one there? And then let's switch back to our floors and see if once we put that in, nope, it still shows. What happened if I put it in there with low stability? Okay, so it doesn't collapse, but I am going to go on and put another column in. Whoops. All right, right click to get out of build mode. There you go. There you go. That's pretty nice. So craft and install a Terra core. So let's go back to crafting. We'll go to Terra. So a terra core takes 20 stone. We'll go on and crap. <sighs> can I can I cancel that? Thank you. It's that hole you click on it and it just shows you the recipe instead of it actually. Yeah. So what was the other thing? Craft and install a sleeping bag and a small storage box. So we do have a crafting queue. So let's do a bag. Uh, lens, terracite, copper wire. We've got... No! Ah! Uh, craft the terracore. Oh, I'm having to get used to this. 
Okay, we need a leather. I actually need to go out and do that. What was the other thing? Oh, man. A small storage box. So, box. Click. Click again. There we go. Uh, you know what? Why don't we... Why don't we do that? That way we've got four boxes. I wish you could kill this without killing... Like, you could kill one item at a time, but obviously not. While that's crafting, let's go on out here and get some Terracite. And I also want to look for a deer or probably a deer because they're easy to beat up. Something easy to beat up to get some leather. In fact, speak of the devil himself. Look at that deer over there. All right. Reload. Come here, buddy. Come here. Don't you run from me. You come back here. All right, so it's F just to gather again. It's kind of kind of gross because you have the whole meaty chunk sound thing, but all right, let's, uh, so the other one's pretty far off. I'm gonna go on and pick this up. We're gonna go on and grab these two. Uh, we do have enough leather for me to do the sleeping bag, but I think I'm gonna gather this and then that terracite right there. And we're gonna go over there and see if that is a deer. How am I doing on water? 37. So here's the thing. You can build what's called an atmospheric water generator, I think. Anyway, it's a it's a, a device that will allow you to gather water straight from the atmosphere. Uh, that is really the only potable water that I can think of. Uh, you, you can't go out to the sea and drink the water because it's salt water and there's no way to boil it or distill it. So the only thing you can really do, as I said, so far that I know of is build the atmospheric uh, water generator. So what is this? Yep. Come here, buddy. I thought I heard something. Remember, there are robots around here. And it is not something that I want to get into with a fight right now. All right, let's run back to the base. Uh, I'll grab a couple of these other things, and I will see you there. I also want to note that the resource respawn rate looks pretty crazy. I know when I came through this section, we cleared the Terra site that was out here. I specifically did that. Is that another? Come here, buddy. Uh, I specifically cleared it because I didn't want it. Come here. I find that hip firing for me is a lot more accurate than trying to look down the side, iron sights and fire with this pistol. It, I, I don't know why, but it just, it just seems to be more accurate for me. So let's go on and get through here. I think I'm also going to need to put... Um, some foundations in here for a porch. Like that. And then put us... Yeah, we'll just do a, a, a ramp right there in the middle. All right, there we go. All right, so let's see. We have created our TerraCore, if I remember correctly. It is in our sixth slot. All right, so get it right there. Maybe rotate it like this. All right, and then let's do our boxes. Those are in eight. Oh, I thought maybe I was trying to do the rotation and get it like sitting a little bit more sideways, but that didn't seem to want to work. We're going to put that right there, that right there. And then finally, that one right there. All right, so craft and install the TerraCore, craft and install a sleeping bag. Let's go on and get that done. I would like to get this base completely set up and get us some water before we end the episode. So we're going to go on and craft that. That scrap. No! <laughs> I keep forgetting. 
That is scrap metal, leather, and cloth. And then what was the other one? We've got the storage boxes. We just got to do the sleeping bag. I'm, I am so, so bad at this, man. Let's go on and, uh, you know what? Uh, let's go on and eat some parasol mushrooms. Looks like they only give us two a piece, but that's fine. That's fine. We found a bunch of them out there. I'm not too much worried about it. Uh, five. We'll go on and eat up. Get all the way, all the way filled up. And then let's put us a sleeping bag right there. Uh, the fusion plasma printing technology is representative of his technology. Of course, you have to... Uh, um, okay, so we need to build a power board and craft and install a plasma workbench. All right, so the power board uh, is here. Now, the way that power works in this game is that your TerraCore provides power, and you can use anything to provide power to the TerraCore. You could put stone in here for all it cares. It just converts item into energy by disintegration. So um, we'll just go on and apply that. I'm not sure what enable anti-degradation is yet. So uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. So, <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, a plasma workbench. So let's go on and do plasma. Uh, that is motor. Man, we just have enough scrap iron, cog wheels, and copper wires. Man, we are lucky, ladies and gentlemen. So that's going to take a minute. Uh, so is it water atmospheric? Hmm. Oh, I think we have to make that in the plasma bench. I think that's what that is. All right, so while that's crafting, I'm going to grab just a few more things. All right, the plasma workbench is done. Another thing that I find just a little annoying about the game is that, and it's, again, I'm nitpicking, so don't take this wrong, but if I start to gather and I move, it interrupts my gathering. I know that seems like a small thing, but I like to look around while I'm gathering so that I know if anything is coming or not. Uh, all right, so there is our we'll plasma with workbench. You. With pressing J key, you can see and check our messages. Okay. Good luck. That's fine. You want us to receive her message? We have swooping attack. Uh, I'll keep that. So plasma workbench. Uh, let's see here. Um, consumables. Maybe I'll do all and water. There we go. An atmospheric water generator. Scrap metal and terracite. So let's go on and craft that really quick. All right, that'll get us um, water so that we can... And it's fairly quick. Uh, it says that it needs to go outside. Uh, can you let me back in? But uh, uh, I'm going to assume that there's nothing out there that's going to uh, attack it. So 36 seconds left. Again, let's go get a little bit more terracite and stone while we're waiting on that. All right, it is done. Let's go on and put it right here on the porch. Maybe right there. All right, so we'll open it. Um, we'll turn it on. It begins immediately producing water. We'll put us a bottle in there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> 11 water left. I think that's pretty close, guys. All right, so we have got our basic base in. We've got our sleeping bag. We have our TerraCore. We have our plasma workbench. We've got storage. And most importantly, we have the basics to survive, including some water. Now, it's 930 at night. I think this is a good place to leave it, guys. I really want to thank you for showing up, uh, hanging out watching the video, all that good stuff, man. If you could give a like and subscribe and a comment, I'd really appreciate it. I'm always open to any suggestions that anybody has. Drop them in the comments, man. This is our start. We're going to see how far we can get. I appreciate it, guys. And remember, I'll see you back next time. Episode 2, Distera. Peace out, guys.